Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Philadelphia, this is CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Well, it's fall and the leaves are changing, but there's a place where spring blooms are blossoming. Victoria Whittle shows us how it's truly a new life for some local young people. Yeah. Alongside of the Great Value Market on Chester Avenue is Bloom, a new colorful mural that will be dedicated on October 24th by the Mural Arts Program. In the past, this wall may have seemed like it had no future until art gave it a second chance. When we first came here, there was razor wire wrapped around the top, wires hanging, the wall was stained, and it just needed some love and it needed some, uh, uh, something to happen. Ben Volta heads the team of artists who are making it happen, who can relate to second chances. For his artists are part of the Youth Violence Reduction Partnership Guild, an apprenticeship program at Mural Arts. It consists of young men and women who were recently incarcerated or in trouble in some way, and they come to Mural Arts and they come to my studio to really explore ideas together. It's to help youth like Deshaun get out of the wrong. I broke a lot of laws, so for me just doing this is like, if I feel like it's just something positive, like I'm just doing something right. Or Terrence build his confidence, enough to walk into this very supermarket and ask for a job. We took a shot on him and he turned out to be a good worker. And to help artists like Russell find their path and express their creativity. This is his self-portrait on his prison papers. I already had an interest in art since a kid and I was in foster homes and stuff like that and just in my own world when I would be in uh, placements and things and art was a thing that I would just do amongst myself. Do you feel like arts led you into the light? For sure. Jane Golden say art ignite change. That's exactly what happened and changed my whole life around. Victoria Woodall, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Wow. Pass it on. Yeah. Pass it on.